Good afternoon, everyone. This is Ramona coming to you from Social Media How To's with Ramona. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove yourself from a shared file or folder in Google Drive. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you download the Google Drive app onto your mobile device. And then I will say that this will work exactly the same if you are on a PC or a laptop. So go ahead and open the Google Drive app. By default, this will bring you to the Home tab on Google Drive. Go ahead and click on the Shared icon. In the search bar at the top of the screen, you can either type in an email address or the name of the folder or file. Once you've located that file or folder, go ahead and click on it. And to the right of the file or folder name, you will see three dots. Click on the three dots. At the very bottom of the screen, you'll see Remove. Click on Remove. Next, Google Drive will ask you if you want to remove the folder. It says, this folder will be removed. You will lose access, but other collaborators will not. You'll want to choose Remove. And you'll see folders been removed. Collaborators will still have access. If it's a file that you no longer want to have access to, you'll follow the same steps. You'll click on the shared icon and at the bottom of the screen. Type in the name of the file or at least a keyword from the file. Click your search icon. Once you locate the file that you no longer want access to, Click on the three dots to the right of the file and at the very bottom of the screen, go ahead and click remove. And in this case, it's giving me the option to move to trash. And this may be because I may be the owner of this particular file. You may see the message to remove access as you saw in the first example. But either way, you'll want to either remove the file or move to trash. So I'm going to go ahead in this case and click on move to trash. Again, you may be clicking remove. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so that you'll receive notifications each time I post a new video. And with that, I want to say have an amazing day.